Hey, what's going on, guys? Moose78 back at you with another episode of Stories from the Road. We are on episode number seven. Hope everyone's doing well today, by the way. Now, if you remember the last episode, we had just made our delivery across the street over there at Walbart. Or Walbert. Or whatever. Whatever. cars there. Now we're on our way to go pick up our next load, load of office supplies going down to Los Angeles. And just real quick, what the series is, this is just my Let's Play series. I do throw in some uh, random discussions and whatnot. Could be anything from uh, just some general truck sim discussion to real trucking to other PC games and some PC hardware. So please feel free to join in the discussion by leaving a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. And as you guys notice, uh, have added some new mods to the game. Added quite a few map mods, actually. Went and downloaded all of the uh, fixes that Rookie 31st has done. All the intersection fixes and whatnot. There our trailer is, another wall bash of office supplies, 37,000 pounds, going down to Los Angeles, California, and we, of course, are heading out from uh, Eli, Nevada here. Going to take our jab. But I've also added the Map Pro map by uh, Heavy Alex, the MHAEP map. And I've messed around with it a little bit, drove on it a little bit. And so far, so good. I like it quite a bit. It's definitely worth uh, looking at and checking out if you've not done so already. And I got the idea from Squirrel, so I'm working on putting a spreadsheet together of all the mods I have in my mod folder. So be sure to check out the description for that link to that spreadsheet. And be sure to check that out periodically because I will update that as I add and uh, take mods out of my folder. Now, of course, one thing I won't put in there is all my uh, private mods from uh, KTI. That's better. Attached up. He's turned off there. Let's hit the road.
looking good, so head on out. Looking good. And I am being a little bit super cautious when I hit the intersections because I don't want to kill it. I can get to do right now. Oh, whatever. Hey, I didn't kill it though. Progress, kids, progress. And as we get rolling out of town here, we'll go ahead and start up uh, this week's discussion. Last couple episodes, we talked a little bit about uh, in-game review stuff. Just talked about uh, some things like map scaling. Little fixes and stuff like that with, that we'd like to see. And the last episode, I talked a little bit about it. Didn't go into great depth or detail, which uh, we'll kind of start doing that today. And that's a wish list. Uh, last episode, I talked about how I would like to see some more realistic truck stops, some different variants of truck stops. Just things like that to kind of mix it up a little bit. But we'll go into a little bit more depth on things like that this week, and we'll kind of start it off, and it's not necessarily um, in-game related. Well, it's not really in-game related at all. But uh, just hear me out on this one. Um, what I would kind of like to see from SCS is to have them be more active and have a bigger footprint in the social media world. Sorry, I had to take a drink of water there. But I'd like to see them have a bigger footprint in the social media world. Oh, we got someone out here doing big business. They have got places to go. Get him, killer. And now that we're out here on the road, kind of getting started, we'll go ahead and get into this week's uh, discussion, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, wish list stuff. Hit on that topic a little bit last episode. Didn't go to a whole lot of depth or detail, but uh, we'll kind of do like we did with the uh, game review stuff. We'll just kind of spread that out over the next couple episodes. And feel free to join in the discussion down below by leaving a comment. But one thing I'd like to see, and it's not really, it's not in-game related, but one thing I'd like to see is SCS have a bigger involvement, have a bigger footprint in the social media world. I mean, we're very much in a digital world, and a lot of companies do a lot of their marketing out on the social media outlets, the Twitters, the Facebooks, etc. 
and really the only place SES is active is over on their official blog, which that, you know, I'm absolutely okay with that being their, you know, main source of communication, but that's pretty much their only source for communication and whatnot. And occasionally they'll throw something up on Twitter, occasionally they'll throw something up on Facebook, but not a whole lot. And I just think they're really missing out on an opportunity to kind of grow and expand their community and their player base. You know, a good example is they were just recently over at uh, PAX East, which is a... All right, I get it. Lane, get out of everyone's way. But they just were at uh, PAX East, which of course is a big uh, gaming convention and whatnot. And they sent a small team of a couple people over there to demonstrate the game, let you know people come up, play the game, check it out, whatnot. And there were a couple tweets sent out about their uh, time over there, but not a whole lot. I just think they kind of missed out on a big opportunity there to really market and uh, sell the game. But I just think it could really help them kind of grow the community and maybe even help them a little bit with their negotiations and relations moving forward because they can kind of throw up their uh, social media numbers and say, hey, look, here's our player base. Here's you know how active we are on social media. We are a growing company. This is a growing community. And maybe it makes it just a little bit more attractive for you know some of these companies. Damn, that's a quick light. <sighs> but another thing I kind of like to see from him, kind of moving on the discussion is I'd like to see them do something similar or do the exact same thing, honestly, with the trailers that they're, they're uh, doing with the trucks. And that's to get some licensing for official trailers. So instead of having, you know, kind of the generic dry vans, generic reefers, tankers, so on and so forth, actually get some licensing from some of the bigger uh, North American uh, trailer manufacturers, you know, like Wabash National, Utility, Great Dane, you know, Mac, who do a lot of flatbeds and uh, things like that. You know, maybe then we'd see a lot more detailed, you know, vanilla trailers in the game, which they've got a lot better, but they're still, you know, fairly generic.
but it would be pretty cool to see some of the different variants of you know the trailers that some of those manufacturers make some of the different dry vans get some different kind of reefers in there not that there's really you know a lot of variants in that I'll just kind of mix it up a little bit more and, you know, more than anything, just get some of the more detailed models in game. But it'd be pretty cool to see some of those, you know, manufacturers see their models in game. You know, Utility 4000 DX, some of the different Great Dane trailers, get some Mac flatbeds and again. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode. You guys pretty much know the routine by now. If you like today's video, go ahead and like and share it. It just helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel, please take a look around. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing. Be sure to tune in Wednesday for another edition of Gameplay Wednesday. And be sure to tune in on Thursday as we continue our discussion here about uh, wish list for ATS and Stories from the Road, episode number eight. Till the next one, guys. Take care. We'll be seeing you. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the icon on the outro pick. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click on the NoScope icon for my affiliate link. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.